What's up, Jaffers? It's Nick, the ASMR nerd. And look at this. We're back with more Thief Gold. It has been a while. Uh, I did not get to this episode sooner rather than later, as I had uh, said at the end of the previous episode, but nonetheless, I am here, you are here, the thief is here, so uh, all is well. We are all here together for another episode of this awesome, awesome game. Uh, today, I'm going to be starting a new level. Last time, we finished off the Haunted Cathedral level, and today, I'm beginning a level called simply Escape. Escape. With an exclamation mark on the end. Escape. Um, which maybe gives you some hint as to the content of this particular level. Um, in the previous level, just as a really quick recap here, we uh, finally obtained a mystical artifact called the Eye, the Eye, which was sealed away in an ancient haunted cathedral, um, which required us to uh, acquire four magical keys uh, just to get into the cathedral in the first place, and the keys were scattered about various places, like protected by mages and lost in an ancient subterranean city, that kind of thing. So it was quite the task to get these keys, and finally we got into the cathedral, and we did in fact acquire this mysterious eye, and we did all of this um, on behalf of our ominous benefactor, a fellow by the name of Constantine. Constantine, he hired us to acquire this eye for him, and as the good mercenary thief that we are, we got it. So, that is where we find ourselves going into this next level. I must warn you uh, that the cutscene that is to follow here at the beginning of this level is pretty intense. Um, <laughs> it's like probably more gruesome and violent than most of what you've seen in this game so far. Um, it's it's still like done in the sort of painterly style that the other cutscenes are, but yeah, it's it's pretty spooky, <laughs> and uh, so if you're really sensitive to like that kind of stuff, um, I just wanted to give you a heads up. You know, you've been warned, but I will say it's also a very like plot pivotal uh, cutscene, <laughs> and what follows might not make a lot of sense if you don't watch it. So, anyway, I leave it up to your discretion, but I just wanted to throw that little disclaimer out there that it's it's uh, somewhat intense. Um, but I think that's, that's plenty of talking. That's enough blathering. Let's play some I can't tell you how pleased I am with you, Mr. Garrett. I simply can't find the words, but perhaps Victoria can help me in that regard. She has such a way with them. Yes, we are both so very pleased. Victoria? Even though the eye is defective. What? Victoria is quite right, Mr. Garrett. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but this eye is completely blind. It's a rock. It's what you asked for. Am I going to get paid or not? Of course. Victoria, are you prepared to give Mr. Garrett his compensation? Bow to the woodsy lord and offer up your flesh eyes so that his eye of stone may see, man fool. Bids ye then. 
and the spruces to singer him an anthems, and the woodsy lord binders them fleshes to stone. Did you think those ancient phrases were mere words, man fool? Look at me. I am the woodsy lord, the trickster of legend. If you be thirsty, flesh thing, drink of me. If you be hungry, then feed, for I am the honey maker and the jumpsberry. He am the leaf that feeders on the fleshed ones. Them that calls themselves builders and wielded up a hammers against him. My poor Mr. Guide, you will not live to see the sprawling glory of it. Your sacrifice is not yet complete. My lilacs and my thistle blades must feed and I Stand ye then in the greens and festive maw and speed ye of his judgments upon the weeps and writhing manfolds. been a stone rolling downhill. Now you must aim this remarkable momentum. It is past time for the balance to shift. They come. What? Wait! The trickster will not forgive you for doing what he could not. Nor, I trust, will you forgive us. Keepers. Looks like I better get moving, or whatever those things are, we'll waste a perfectly good rescue. So... I told you it was kind of intense. <laughs> Nothing like a little eye-plucking ASMR. You know, people use pluck, pluck, as an ASMR trigger. It's a good trigger word, but I don't think that's quite what they had in mind. Um, but anyway, that's what you come to this channel for, right? Uh, so, yeah, so, um, like I said, that's a pretty pivotal story point. It turns out that we have been played, Garrett has been fooled by Constantine, and, uh, used, basically, to acquire this mystical eye on behalf of Constantine, who, it turns out, is the trickster, the woodsy lord who is the, the great opponent uh, of the, the Hammers, the Hammerites, right? And so a, uh, a primal being. Um, and uh, he has plans for the Eye, which we have now acquired for him, um, and set those plans in motion. So, um, and he, he left Garrett to die, I suppose. Um, but uh, Garrett was rescued by Keepers, the Keepers, whom are this uh, sect uh, that keeps the, the balance um, and watches from the shadows, and they are the ones that originally took Garrett in um, as a, a child. Um, they took him off the streets, and they trained him, um, and that's where he gets his, uh, you know, inhuman ability to sneak and hide and all that, so, but then he left them, and that's what they were kind of alluding to, as a, a stone rolling downhill, right, he, he left them, and he's gained all this great momentum, but he lacks a goal, he lacks refinement, and so now he's been swept up into, um, events that are greater than just himself, so, anyhow, that's where we find ourselves, they, they, 
got us free and then they left us to make good our own escape so um, we are playing on expert as we have been this whole time goal number one get your stuff back yeah we need all our gear right goal number two uh, Constantine wouldn't have put you through all this if he didn't have some serious plans for the eye. You'd better find out what. And three, if you want to survive, you'll have to get out of here. Escape. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. We have nothing to purchase. <laughs> it's not like we can go to the store here, so... All we have is Constantine's sword, which is funny because you would think that he might have taken his sword with him. Uh, but no, somehow we've been left with the sword. Maybe it was nearby and the keepers gave it back to us, or we, I don't know, something like that. Anyhow, so, nothing to buy. Turns out all that cash we uh, gained in the previous level, actually not useful at all. <laughs> but that's okay. Alright. Let's go. So here we find ourselves in Constantine's um, chamber here. And you note that actually our health is depleted to start with because, uh, yeah, we've, we've had a rough time. Um, despite the fact that we only have one eye now. <laughs> Uh, the other one was taken from us to, uh, to power the eye, the eye of stone, the artifact that we acquired last level. Uh, despite the fact that we only have one eye, we can still see in 3D. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Kinda neat detailing on some of these textures. Surprise, surprise, we don't even have our block picks, so we are really, really just stripped down to the very basics here. Um, like the previous levels, it's been a long time since I played this level, and yeah, even then I only played it once. That was back in the day, so I don't really remember much about it. Just the broad strokes. Um, so... This could be an interesting one. That's a spooky looking thing down there. The spooky motifs up there. Um, those patterns um, that emerged on Constantine's forehead when he emerged, uh, or when he revealed himself to be uh, the trickster. Um, I guess some kind of pagan symbol. I guess maybe it's supposed to be the eye, I guess. You know, he, it sort of manifested as a third eye in his forehead, so maybe that's what's going on there. Spooky statue. Oh, there's something down there. something's down there. We uh, don't have a lot of places to hide here because, uh, you know, these torches are burning bright and we don't have water arrows to put them out, so we're just kind of at the mercy of, of the level geometry. Okay, so we're sort of hidden here. Let's start off by quick saving. That sounds like a great idea, huh? Uh, F11, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, whatever's down there, it's kind of creepy sounding, huh? Spooky mural situation. Carving. Okay, so whatever is patrolling, we know that it does come around here. We saw it there. This is a good hidden spot. Let's let's wait and watch to see. 
see if we can figure out their patrol routes. All right, so they're kind of rat creatures. They carry swords. Um, oh, good thing I didn't go because I was about to. But after this, maybe. Because uh, I see, I spy with my little eye a fire arrow. Oh, that was not what I meant to do. Uh, but that's okay. <laughs> um, okay, well, we've obtained a fire arrow, which, you know, of limited use at the moment, but. Um, on the upside, we are free to murder these things, um, you know, there's no stipulation here that we can't kill stuff, so if we wanted, we could go down there and just try and chop them up with our sword. Might be our best bet, but we'll try something else first. We know they patrol up that way, but they don't seem to come into this little corner, so. Oh, I think they might have heard or seen. I wonder if they can be one shot with the, uh, with Constantine's sword with a power attack from behind. Only one way to find out. We will try it on this second one here. here. He probably will. Ask me yet. No, okay. Well, maybe this is worth a quick save. Oh, I think I hear something else out there, though. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yep. These things are creepy. We've encountered these ones before. Yeah, okay, I don't know where he was hiding, but let's uh let's sneak our way back up. Oh, Moss Arrow. Sneak our way back up here. This is a nice little dark spot, right? Oh, not that dark. I thought it was darker up here before. God, the sound design is so creepy in this game, you guys. It's great. Okay, I think we're doing okay, though. Because I don't think they come up here. Okay, that guy's back to patrolling. that guy. Oh, he's coming back. Don't know if he can see us from there. Don't think so. You think we can one-shot him from behind? That I'm not sure, but let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Only one way to find out. Oh, but Rat Guy's over there. Weirdly, he's not patrolling. Wonder why he stopped. He's not going to patrol anymore, then that's actually good for us. That's something we don't have to worry about, but the creepy mantis man is kind of still wandering about. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. Did he see us? I'm trying to figure out if we can like get rope arrow our way up there, but I'm pretty sure we don't have a rope arrow yet. We have fire and moss. Let's go this way. 
there's a flashing light in here. I don't know if that's intentional or if that's just a kind of a bug. I think it's intentional. I think we can maybe chop this. Nope, oh, okay, we don't have to. We can just go through it. A skull. Oh, big spider. Do not want. Alright, let's... wasn't so great. <laughs> I don't think we even hit the spider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's uh, try this again. Uh, the power attack might work against the spider. I always forget that that's that's a strong option against most things. Okay, look, at there's something up there. There's a window. Not sure how we get up there, though. There it is again. There's also this route. Whatever this route might be. Um, nothing too crazy. Just some physics-defying water. We all know Constantine, not a great fan of gravity. Um, his um, mansion, oh, perfect, water arrows, that's what I was hoping for. His mansion, after all, was just one crazy labyrinth where nothing really made sense. Okay, I'm glad that we managed to find a couple of precious water arrows. Gosh, we only got two, though, so we really need to save them for... Down here. Uh, what I was trying to do was 
extinguish this this year mushroom because I swear I've done that before but I guess that's not a thing here I don't know spider's pretty loud over there okay another fire arrow so that is an option we could just fire arrow the spider to death but that seems a little wasteful what's this fruit can we eat it oh we can oh that's a very satisfying sound freaking love the crunch sound the thief apple crunch was that also fruit on the ground in this room because there was something on the ground here i thought it was just a rock but maybe it's also fruit let's go see oh yes very good crunch oh what's this is this a sneaky way to get into the spider it might be let's try it oh crap it's not sneaky it's just straight up spider ay 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 do not like oh god ah oh, crap jeez they're mobile they're incredibly hard to hit and they do a crazy amount of damage god the spiders suck I really don't like it when they jump and then you don't know where they go and then they suddenly appear. That's bleh. <sighs> What to do with the spider? Alright, well, uh, we'll just keep ignoring the spider for now because I don't have a good way of dealing with it. And... So, there's stuff going on in there. I see another one of those rat men wandering around. We know there's at least one more that hangs out, like, over there somewhere. And the mantis guy. So, you know. Um, but, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Another moss arrow. Not gonna help us with the spider, but help us other places oh we got three count them three water arrows here oh four very good i think that's all of them that's great though that's real good okay what's up here though oh spiders apparently oh crap there's one right there don't think it's uh, oh it's coming Ugh. Ugh. There it is. You jerk. Uh, the water arrows won't really help with spiders. Oh, come on. Okay, yeah. Go back. Go back. Back from whence you came. Power beast. Save. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's spiders right up there too. Whoops. Oh boy, oh boy. Well. Oh, there he is. Wait, is this an opportunity to maybe just chop him right in the back? Well, he's unawares. Maybe. Come on. He's like stuck. What's the hitbox situation? Yeah. Nice. Got him. Got him. Oh, there's another one though. Run away. Run away. But hey, that's that's one spider down. So a sneak attack from behind with the power attack does one shot them. That's good to know. Backstab's very powerful finding because the game never actually really communicates that to you. Like, I don't think at any point do they tell you that a power attack, like a sneaking power attack from behind is so powerful, but you just kind of figure it out over time, or you read about it online or something, you know. Um, do you think we can get up here? Oh, no, be soft. 
oh god, they move so fast. I don't like it at all. No, 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 no. Get out of here. We could just do the old clock. Oh, jeez, they're fast. for any arachnophobes, oh god. <laughs> ah, crappy sauce. I think. Why do you run away? Oh, I like that even less. Why would he run? <laughs> Oh gosh, this thing's gonna kill us. 
that's for sure. But we're gonna just have to cheese it. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Don't you dare. Oh, well. We have one health. Oh, he's running, you little jerk. <laughs> Spanked him right in his big fat booty. <laughs> um, but you know what? I don't, I don't really feel comfortable rolling with a single hit point. So, yeah, I think that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a quick load. I'm not even sure that we really have to navigate these spider tunnels, if I'm being totally honest. Like, I think we might, we might be able to just go elsewhere and not have to deal with these spiders at all, but, you know how I roll, I like to, I like to find all the secrets in a level. So, and there's probably good loot to be had out this way, right? Like this, so. It is my, my duty, my obligation to fully explore these areas despite, despite the spider situation. You know, every episode of this, I'm like, man, this is probably the least <laughs> relaxing episode. <laughs> this is so not ASMR. And then yet, somehow, like the following episode manages to top it. We had the, uh, the Wailing Klaxons ASMR back when we, uh, infiltrated that, that Hammerite temple. And then we had the just billions of zombies ASMR and hammer haunts that was, okay, I don't think he actually saw me, uh, that was the last level. And now we've got... Hordes of Spiders ASMR, which is, you know, some good stuff. Okay. Once again, we're just gonna have to cheese it. Oh. No, 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 no. And by cheese it, I mean just like save scum it until we can kill these guys. That's not what the jumping I do not like it. I also don't like the way my sword clangs against his four legs. Break. It implies that his four legs are like, I don't know, made of metal or something. Uh, spiders. Blech. Blech, 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 blech. I don't know, what do you think, guys? Should we just give it up? Nah, no, we need, we need to do this. This is something I need to do. I need to know what's down here. Unfortunately, there's really no way to sneak up on these guys. It's not dark enough, and they are too alert. that. 
wonder if we'll come out up there if we go back around and fight that last spider. Well, hopefully the last spider. <laughs> the last one we've seen. Only one way to find out, right? Right. Okay, so we hear him. We know he's up here. Uh, let's quick save. Here it goes, nothing. Spiders. I don't care. Bring me your spiders. I'll mess them up. I'm a certified spider slayer. Spider slayer. That's me. Garrett. Uh, okay. Alright, so, um... Yeah, there's a whole lot of nope as well, isn't it? Okay, what's this, though? Well, despite the fact that we're in, like, bright light here, apparently they didn't see us, so... Um, but you know, there's a, a little... A little... A little, uh... What do you call that? A shelf. Oh gosh, is there a... Uh... Is there... What? 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 Is this jerk coming up here just to murder us? Water arrows, get the water arrows. Oh man. I did not think that it saw us, and I did not think it would come up here just to murder us. Um, wow. Okay. This game's so damn hostile. Wait, where did it even come from? Because, like, it had to come all the way through these tunnels up that way, so it must have come from like way over here, like over there. That just ain't right. That just ain't right. Okay, well, you know, this time we could, uh, wait, okay, just out of curiosity, what happens if we do this? Absolutely nothing. Okay, this corner is a good hiding corner, though, so that's good to know. Also, like... Oh, there's more than one of them. But that, that was... 
was good. Um, and you know, if we can take out one and then the other, we can replenish our water arrows right over there. So let's quick load. And let's, uh, let's sneak on up and take that, that one out. And then see about sniping that other as well. over there. Oh, wow, they really did see us. All right, well. Uh, oh, crap, 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 crap. <laughs> oh, I should have seen that coming. Okay. All right. You know, it might actually be worth, it might actually be worth, uh, you know, doing this, creating ourselves a little hidey corner here, because when it's really dark here, and then that guy comes up, we might be able to get a, get a sneak attack in on him. Oh, weird things happening with the frame rate, don't know what that was about. Okay, which one? Okay. Oh no, he straight up knows where we are. Wow, but he kinda sucks, so okay, now the water. Uh yeah, no, I don't think that's I don't think that's it. Uh it's so funny though the the fire elemental relit the I believe Wow, there's a lot of these guys, holy cow. Oh, didn't mean to. Well, he's probably, they're probably gonna come back around. I don't think I'm gonna go with this because we kind of messed that up. Is that a, is that a gas arrow? Is that what that is? It looks like. Ah, oh, crap, there's one of those creepy dudes up there too. Okay. Yikes, um, we're actually not in a great position here because I think we quick saved after they'd seen us. So we gotta, we gotta do something. Um, let's, see what we can do but you know what actually if they're coming around after us because they saw us up here then uh you know we might be able to take advantage of that and get behind them and do some damage that way um let's try that not sure if they'll figure out that oh gosh where are we now Ay ay ay. Okay, there's a little ID hole there, that's good to know. Okay, this takes us back here. Gotta up uh, crap. I hope if I had the right weapon out. Okay. Alright. Let's chuck him down here with this friend. Dare we quick save? We dare. We dare. Okay, so we know that there's going to be a few more down this way. Uh, possibly a fire elemental. Well, definitely fire elemental. Oh, but if we can just kind of deal with one on one here, then we actually maybe stand a chance. Because I think they're kind of confused about where we are right now. I wonder if the fire elementals can actually hurt the rad men. I keep hearing them crying out. 
I wonder if maybe they're getting burnt by the fire elemental. Okay, here he comes. Got him. Wait, that didn't. Oh, it did. Okay. Yeah, I think he totally burned the rabbit to death. Oh, no, wait. Wait, what? So this is back here, uh, where we first... Wait, each of these is a fire arrow, isn't it? Oh, very nice. Oh, well, at least one of them is. Okay, one of them was a fire arrow. And actually, now that we have that gas arrow, I feel like I might have seen one of those somewhere else and not recognized it for what it was. Where was that, though? Try 
guess again. You know, you guys, I think it's raining outside. I don't know if that's picking up on the mics, but I'm pretty sure I hear rain. Which actually might be kind of nice for you guys if you can hear it very faintly. Yo, buddy, what gives? How, how is he? As soon as I move, he heard. Okay, well, we've got moss arrows, so that's an option. Uh, I think it's an option we're gonna have to use here because he is just too, way too, where are we here? Uh, moss arrow, okay, let's quick save. Yeah, it's totally raining out there. Hopefully you guys can hear that. It's kind of nice. Um, I I'm surprised because we've had so little rain here for so long. Obviously, it's like mid-September now, so, you know, it's more likely that rain's gonna happen, but... Okay. Okay. What, what is wrong with this guy? <laughs> he just... He can't hear us. There's no way he can hear us. I can't even hear us. Way, way, way too sensitive. Well, we do have the old fire arrow. So that's maybe an option. Or, you know, we can just let him walk by and just go about his business and then just try and avoid him from here on out. I think that might be the move. here by the looks of it. So now here's a question. Was that the same Madge's dude that we saw creeping around that first room? And I think the answer is yes. I'm pretty sure it's the same one. Now I need to know where he went because I haven't seen him for a while and it's making me nervous. Just dude, wherever. 
whatever he is. Oh, right there. Okay, well, somehow he hasn't heard us. That's about to change, I'm sure. Or maybe not. Maybe he's back on a normal patrol. Okay. Do we take advantage of this? The fact that he's kind of stuck. Yeah, we do. Okay, let's quick save. This is probably a terrible idea, but you know. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Killed the Mantis Man, but got... Got played by the Rad Man. Okay, but we can totally do this. This is definitely attainable.
I still feel like we should be able to like take a running leap from here and just grab onto that edge, but I guess it's just a little too high. Yeah, it's probably just a little too high. Um, we've been all through the spider areas, so that's good. Uh, what if what if we like extinguish that and like stood here and then it leapt over to here? Eh? What do you think? Probably not possible, but you know, let's. Why not? That's what the quick save button was made for. Experimentation. Something about that smoke effect really killed my frame rate. Actually, it might be better even from here. Just terrifying. Uh, that was all. But then. 
eventually great, but then it wasn't. Okay, time for a different approach. Oh, they saw us with the fire arrow. Of course they did. Well, crap. Alright. We did have to blow a fire arrow for that, but uh, maybe that's... Maybe that's okay. What else are they for? If not for using, right? Alright. You know what? I'm gonna quick save that. I'm gonna quick save that. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, did I quick save just as he saw us? Are you kidding me? That's really quite cruel if I did. hear him. Wish I could just squish the stupid clay mushroom. Okay, you know what, there's, there's an opportunity there to... There's an opportunity to escape, I think, before he comes after us. Yeah, there. must have heard us, but he can't see us here. I'm kind of hoping that he just turns around and then we can get the one-shot backstab on him. But I don't think that's going to happen. You jerk. Alright, whatever, let's just go. Let's just vacate the premises. Okay, so we kind of came through back here, right? Um, no. Oh this um so there there was a gem that we got on one of our mad dashes there oh, fruit nice uh a gem that we acquired on one of our mad dashes which i would like to get but probably it's gonna take a little bit of a little bit of planning here because because there's spiders and brawn men and whatnot. It's kind of a weird marking in the roof, eh? Oh. Ow. <laughs> These things are so ruthless. They just detect you from like a thousand miles away. Just brutal. I'm gonna put it this way. We know there's one that wanders around here, but... Maybe it's the same one that I'm not sure about. There's also this tree situation where we might be able to like jump up onto this platform. Possibly. If I can somehow convince Garrett to go up there. You're not looking good. Okay, this is the corner where we chased the spider into previously. I swear you used to be able to put those things out. How the heck are we supposed to get up on this platform if not this way? Oh, what? Dude, what? Gosh, those things are such a menace. They just... after you from anywhere. Okay, here's this though. So that's good. And um, there is this dead end which had that. We're probably just going to have to do this again because that thing's probably going to come after us. But oh, what is up there? Spiders, I'm going to bet. Asshole still following us. <laughs> Pretty sure. Oh. But I think we can probably lose him in all this. Oh, what's all that up there? Wait, what's all this up here? What? 
is this? What is this, you guys? Oh, very good. This is how you get up here. Now, I'm not sure how useful that is because I don't see anything up here, but... Flash bomb. Oh, I forgot we have flash bombs. That could actually come in handy. Some more uh, oh, rope arrow. Very good. Noisemaker. Broadhead. A mine. Oh, well, this is what we were looking for, guys. Creepy statue. Checks out. Well, I don't think those jerks are going to be chasing us up here. So. That's good. This is even a little chairier. Okay, well, you know what, guys? This actually might be a good place to... Um, oh, he's down there. Might be a good place to uh, leave off for tonight. I would like to keep playing because I'm just really enjoying myself. This has been a little more uh, slightly, I don't know, frivolous. Uh, play. I guess I've been pretty playing it pretty fast and loose. It's funny, you know. There's sort of two two approaches to thief uh, that I, you know, sometimes I'm like, okay, we have to like super stealth and nobody can see us. And other times I'm just like, I don't know, let's kind of run through and cheese the mechanics a little bit and see what what we can do. Um, but to be fair, this level actually kind of encourages the latter sort of behavior because, again, like, the sensitivity on some of those things is insane for, like, detecting you. And, um, you know, it's not like the regular guards that you can blackjack. Like, you gotta murder everything in here because they're all monsters. So, no regrets. I do not apologize for my behavior. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Obviously, we've got a few ways to go from here. We got the rope arrow, which will hopefully let us go investigate back near the beginning, that point, you know, that I uh, saw for the rope arrow. And um, we have uh, a way off to the, sort of to our right here. Um, let's just get out of the way where that thing can see us. Um, off to our right, uh, there was another spider there, and there might be some more loot there. And then there's whatever that route was past the spider caverns the other way. And then there's whatever lies ahead of us this way, so there's a lot. In true thief fashion, this level is big and labyrinthine, convoluted, <laughs> but we will figure it all out. That's what we're here for after all. So, uh, hey. Thank you so much for watching, you Taffers. Thanks for coming along for another one of these episodes. This is where I traditionally say, hey, I'm going to try and get one of these out sooner rather than later. And I will. I will try. But as always, no promises. The promise I do make to you, however, is that there will be a next episode. There will be. I just can't promise exactly when it's going to be, but hopefully sooner rather than later. Thank you, Davers, for your continued support, your infinite patience. I love you guys. I appreciate you so much. And I look very forward to having you back here next time. Farewell for now, Davers. <laughs>